I don't ask questions about why I'm painting or how I'm doing it because uh, if I knew these things and I know myself, I would uh, only uh, try to change and make things better. And of course, that never works. So I can describe the technical stuff. The born sea praised the sun, the finding one, and upright Adam sang upon origin, casting tomorrow like a thorn, and the midwives of miracles sing. Okay, that's left side, vision. That's called vision. And this is called prayer. So I think I should give you one thing else, which would be the two of them to each, next to each other, there. This is, this is the diptych. The colors speak. They speak to each other and they compare each other. And then they go off color a little bit. Also, the background on this painting is a very famous photograph of uh, the Brazilian coal miners. Every one of these dots is a miner. In the name of the lost the workers and so on. These are uh, separate uh, silk screens from a BBC program. Actually, it was a ballet dancer revisiting her home, her birthplace, Russia. It's a very dirty dance. He's, he's mooning. <laughs> he's mooning the audience. This is... Uh, from a Dylan Thomas poem, there it's uh, vision and prayer. This is prayer. In the name of the lost. And I've moved some of the sentences around, so it's not exactly a quote, but uh, the phrases are his, and I've put it together a different way. Shame on me, bad girl. <laughs> but artists can do anything they want. Do you know in the list of, of things, uh, of jobs, and uh, things that people value most. Architecture is first, and art is the bottom, like around with garbage men. <laughs> and so, for that reason, we are allowed to live any way we want to, to say anything we want to, to be as clean or dirty as we wish. And uh, actually, it works for me. I, I actually um, didn't start painting till I was about 30, 28 yeah, or 30, yeah, yeah. but I have a full, beautiful university uh, graduate yeah. level uh, yeah. background, all of which is very, very helpful yeah. because yeah. I'm able to think. You, you change your place to change your intentions sometimes. I mean, I left New York and America in order to make a different kind of work. I knew if I stayed because I'd been successful that they would keep me there. And I didn't want to, uh, to, to I will have to say that as a, as a successful woman artist, I have certain um, things, things that I must do that men must do not have to do. I have to do the right thing. And the right thing in this case is to, to keep doing what I was really doing, even if it means moving someplace else. I don't mind, I don't mind being a foreigner. I make the painting on the computer first, uh, with pictures. I used to take 
clippings and things that I was interested in, and take them over to a big table and mess with them, and try this here and there, and I find a story that begins to work. I've chosen them for some reason, they go together. I don't quite know why. I don't even know why, what story I want to tell. But then I begin to see that this comes from that, or they, they, they repeat each other, or they clash with each other. Then something's missing. Oh, I'll go shopping. I look in the books. I go, now I look on the internet, which is great fun. Page after page of possibilities of, if I just know, what it should be in terms of, uh, of its meaning. Uh, I mean, figures have meanings, and you have to keep control over that. I mean, we have, a, we have very deep um, visual preferences things that mean things to us, they're built in, they're hardwired. Uh, uh, symmetry, for instance, is one. So if you go asymmetric, without symmetry, you've made a, a real move. You've said, oh, 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 this is very deep. It, it will read, you're not aware of it. There are all kinds of things. I mean, there's, the only reason for, for painting at all is to reach these parts to say the things that you can't say any other way. Painting is poetry, and poetry is for all the things that are unsayable, unknowable. This is it, and then I went into a description of uh, painting as primary language, which has no tense, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's there, it's now. Dream language, animal language, and so forth. This is what we do. We go very deep, and uh, hopefully beautifully, or in an ugly way, they're always doing it. And we certainly allow you to also go deep. It is called In the Land of the Giants. It's, oh, uh, it's, the, it's yeah. the giant throwing the, yeah. the stone. This is in Ireland, yeah. Well, this stone was in a field nearby where I, near my castle where I live, and it has a perfect circle uh, hole drilled in the center of it. So I went to the uh, postmistress and I said, what is that? And she said, oh, she said, it's called the Hurl Stone and a giant threw it there. Ah, this is exactly right. And so I've always remembered that. In Iron Age days, that was already thousands of years old, has their, one of their epic heroes, Cahulan, who uh, is dying, and he st strapped himself to this stone so that he can die standing up. And this is the raven of death that is waiting to take his soul where? Oh, to Orion. They all, they, they all go there. And uh, so, I mean, th these are correct. I, I wouldn't mislead. Well, I would, but I mean, I'm not. <laughs> Good, I would. And you know, this is the story I'm telling. This is not science, but half the time I've been right. This is what I'm doing right now. I'm writing another catalog on this. People do not take giant stones and place them places unless the shape of the stones have certain meaning. Uh, where do they come from? How do they do it? All of these kinds of things. It's really interesting because it's us at the very beginning. But that's why it's so interesting. That's why I can do six more paintings. This is called Prayer. In the name of the lost who glory in the swinish plain of carrion, plains of carrion, 
Awake no heart, but let it break under the burial song of the birds of burden, never to awake, under the night forever falling. And that's a prayer. <laughs>